Anyway, mentioned H1 here. So anyway, got the new trench case. So the lights lit up. About to get some music. There's four uh, high buttons. Alright, it's on. Do a little off-road action. See how it goes. Yeah, look how steep this hill is. Yep. Oh, freaking wrecked. Yeah, so it's just a little trail that I know. Yeah, so it's not too bad. So I bought you a 70. Now, I'll show you something I found. Now, I'm not sure if I can make it through there because uh, as you look at that little slope right there, or a little hill, uh, I believe maybe the truck won't make it. So I prob probably need a spotter. Looks kind of tricky. Looks like you need a six inch suspension and 35 inch tall tires. And this truck doesn't have it, so I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> huh. Looks like a dead end, so I'm, I'll probably have to turn around. Yeah, and yeah, maybe in the next off-road video, uh, I'll have Storm Maverick just from the outside. Things can come up a steep hill over here. You know, now if I had a bicycle or maybe a, maybe a ATV, I'd probably drive up that section with tape measure just to see how deep it is and measure the, with the corner, ground corners of the truck and tires and see if it'll do it. If not, I'm going to try it once I know. So this isn't too bad. I can do this on too high. All right. I'm trying to see where this leads to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll do that some other time. I mean, I could do this in two-wheel drive, but I just want to test out how four high is doing. Check this out, guys. Oh, freaking right. Yeah, it's not a real good idea to go here at night because, you know, you don't have to off-road. If you don't have to hold off-road lights, don't come here at night. Because, you know, it's very dark. You can't barely see what you're doing. It's not hit a tree. Coming in too damn fast. So that's good. I have a two-inch level one kit. And of course, to get better articulation, vinyl clearance, greased, and everything. Let's see, there's a code set. Now we're back on too high. I right, clean this shit off. Okay, now we got. Run flinging off the tires. Yeah! Freaking right! Yeah, so that's just uh, my off road adventure here. Yeah. So, anyway, there's an on ramp that I know of. Uh, well, there is an on ramp, but there's a little mud pit to go through without a problem. So, you know, I'm just so happy the four wheel drive system is working on this truck and I can hit the trails. <coughs> just pay off that loan. I got to swap out the trash case and, uh, Get new wheels and tires, maybe new torsion arms. No, not torsion arms, uh, torsion keys, ball joints, shocks, and all that. 
any of these guys there. Stopped on her. She's going reverse. I'm gonna do the other wheel. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have anybody to hold the camera while I do this. Eh, about to back up once again a little bit not into the holes but it's like put them too high all right I'm back up a little a little bit better be out of the way a little bit so you can see what the truck looks like through the mud So well, that's what all Yukon looks like when you're riding dirty through mud trail, a little bit of mudding. Yeah, just with the two inch leveling kit. And look how much mud you get. I mean, I got. Yeah, but it's gonna rain on Monday, so, you know, it'll wash off of everything, you know, once I'm. Usually, if I'm going like maybe five miles straight and it's raining like crazy, it'll wash off all this mud a little bit. I'm gonna have to go to the car wash. I mean, it looks like I kept the back doors clean a little bit in the taillights. So, let's, I'll see you guys later. Just uh, rate, comment, click like, and tell me what you think. Later.